Hi everybody, welcome to this third starter video for the Wildlife Park booking system that we're programming in Python. Now at the moment we have a, a basic system, like a skeleton um, of the system that we're designing, where we've got two main loops. The first loop allows us to start making a booking, and the second loop allows us to book as many tickets as we need for a single booking. So we go around this loop booking tickets, and when we've finished booking our tickets, we get out of that ticket loop, and what we need to do is display the total cost and booking details. So we need to do that after we finish this ticket loop, we display the total cost of the booking. Then we ask if they want to make another booking. And we go through the process again. While the booking option is yes, we choose another ticket option. And then we keep getting new ticket options. And when we're out of that, we need to display the total cost for that booking. And then continue. So because we're going to display a total cost for the booking, when we start a new booking up here, we should really have a variable called total cost, and we just set it to zero. Okay. Also, we're going to display some of the booking details. The way that I'm going to do that is when we start a new booking, I'm going to set up an empty array which is going to store details of the booking. I'll show you how I'm going to use that um, as we um, get going today. So just a reminder, today we're going to be looking at task three, where we're processing a booking. When we process a booking, we need to generate a unique booking number. Now, I'm not going to do that in today's lesson. You'll have to think about that. But a good place to write code for that unique booking number would be at somewhere at the start of the booking. Or maybe after you get the ticket option. You'll have to decide where you want to generate a unique booking number. And how you're going to do that. That's an interesting challenge for a programmer. And later in the program, after we've booked all our tickets, will display that with the booking details. Okay, that's part of the, the, the display. And that will be printed on the ticket or on the booking sheet. Okay, so let's get busy. Um, we're going to calculate the total cost of the booking. So if I run this program, let's just, I just want to look at the output. We can see that, um, in my current program, I've got a valid ticket, ticket option number, which is one, two, three, four, or five. Now that I've got the ticket option number, I should really ask the user to enter how many days they want to book for this ticket. So we could do this. Again, it's going to be a number, so I'm going to convert it to be an integer. Um, how many days? One or two. And of course, we do need to validate that. So while days doesn't equal one and days doesn't equal two, if, if that's true, then we need to keep asking days equals int input invalid. Try again. Okay. So, we get the ticket option number, then we get how many days they want to make the booking, and maybe we should also get the extra attraction option number. So I'm just going to call extra A for extra attraction, and it's going to be an option number, so we'll use int again. And we're going to answer please uh, enter. Oh dear, my spelling's gone a extra attraction number. Um, what if they don't want an extra attraction? Um, that's going to be one to three. What if they don't want that? 
so they don't want to go into this code. Maybe we'll say or zero if not required. Okay, let's see what that looks like. So please enter an, an extra attraction number, one to three, or zero if not required. Okay. So if extra A wasn't zero, it means that they, 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 they entered a, a number and we need to validate it. Okay, so while extra A isn't one and extra A isn't two and extra A, there are many ways to do this. This is just a, one way to validate. So we didn't get a one or a two or a three, then we need to ask again, please enter one, two or three only. Lots of validation in this computer program. Validation is a very important aspect of um, a user system. Invalid. One to three only. Try again. So we've got a ticket option number, a day number, and possibly an extra attraction number. So now we can start updating the total cost. To do that, we need to figure out which ticket option number was generated, okay, was input. Then we can start to look at the different bits of data related to that. So for example, if ticket option was equal to one, which is the adult ticket, we can then ask what days were entered. Was it one or was it two? So let's just check if days was one, then we're gonna update the total cost with this number here, the one day cost for one adult, which is the value of 20. Now I've stored that in an array. It's the one day cost array, and it's the first element. That's an index zero. Okay, one day cost index zero. So to update the total cost, we can do this. Else, it must have been a two day um, ticket. So total cost will be equal to total cost. We're just summing, right? Total cost plus this number here, which is 30. This was the two day for an adult ticket. And that is in the two day cost array at index zero. Okay, so that's the first, um, the first thing. Now we need to add on to the total cost. If the ticket option is one, we just need to find out if they wanted an extra attraction and we'll add the appropriate cost to that ticket. So how do we do that? We've got an extra attraction number. So if extra A, wasn't a zero, let's say it was greater than or equal to one and less than or equal to three, because those were the three options. That means we got an extra A uh, option number and now we can figure out um, which one it was and the associated cost. So if extra A, was one total cost is equal to total cost plus this number here 2.5 which i stored in my cost per person array index zero cost per person index zero l if extra a 
was equal to 2, then the total cost is equal to total cost plus cost per person. And the second element, which is at index 1. Else, well, the, fi the only final option was number 3. So total cost is equal to total cost plus cost per person. Two point five is at zero, two is at one, index one, and five is at two. So I think we've pretty much processed an adult ticket, and we've updated the total cost. So that's finished. Okay. So so <laughs> you're going to have to figure out how to process the other ticket options. So if ticket options is one. We're going to do all this. What if ticket option is 2? You're going to have to figure out how to calculate the total cost for one child. Okay, so you're going to, you're going to calculate um, the child cost. L if ticket option was three. You're going to have to write some code to update the total cost for that ticket type. Okay. Now, I think the adult, the child, and the senior ticket types to calculate the total cost or to update the total cost is not too difficult. The family ticketing groups is a bit more challenging. You'll have to really think about how to update the total cost for family and group tickets. Okay. But I'm not going to do that in this video. You're going to have to think about that. Now remember, when we've finished getting tickets, we want to display the total cost. So we could say print F the total cost is total cost. Maybe put a dollar sign before that. Now, we also want to display the ticket details. I'm just quickly going to show you my idea, and you might want to use it in your own solution. If ticket option is 1, what I'm going to do is append adult into the details array. So, for example, details.append adult ticket, because option 1 was the adult ticket. So we're just going to keep appending ticket types into um, this details array using append. And later, when we're displaying the cost and the booking details, we can also print details. This is the array that stores all the details. So let's run that and see if it works. Do you want to make a booking? Yes. Choose a ticket option number. I'm only going to choose one because that's all I've programmed. Two days. Whoops. Enter an attraction number, uh, attraction number one. So that's the first ticket done. Now we're going to choose another ticket option number. I'm going to do one again, one day, and no, um, no extra attractions. One more ticket, one adult for two days, and number three. Zero to quit, no more tickets. So I booked three adult tickets, and the total cost is $87.50. I hope that video was helpful. You've got a lot of programming to do. Let's get started.